Hello and welcome to the full release of Dead Cells. Let's see. They suggest that we start a new save. Okay. We have a lot of upgrades with our old save, but uh, let's start a new one. Sure. We can always come back to this one. Huh. Oh, there's a streaming mode as well. Let's do a normal mode. Alright. This is be a little bit different from our regular impressions videos, in that this one is not a first impressions of this game. It is a 1.0 impressions of this game. And we'll see what's changed. This is very different. Yeah. Okay. Seems they have added a lot of lore. Uh, okay, yeah, let's, let's take the bow. Shields are great, but I prefer the bows. I gotta say, uh, I like the idea of figuring out the lore and everything, but I'm really not super excited about starting over. I had put a lot of time into this game. And I still have that save, it's not like that save's gone anywhere. Uh, but we'll just see what the... Well, do we not have the ground pound yet? Oh, come on. We don't have the ground pound. Is that an upgrade? I, again, I don't remember. It's been so long now. See ya. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I figure we'll probably get to try out this new lore area here at the start, and then we'll probably just go back to our save. I don't imagine it... Okay, I don't know where to go then. I must have missed somewhere that I could go. Because it looks like I've basically completed the map. Was there another way up by the shop? There was, okay. Yep. Basically, all I really want to see from this uh, is the lore, and then we'll go back to... I keep forgetting I don't have access to that. Hey, chest. Oh, nice. Yeah, we can't convert that. Alright, a duplex bow. Okay. Yep. 
this seems pretty much the same as it was. Go. from the beginning, which is nice. I'll take that. Uh, sure. That's new. Ah! I get the lore implications of this. They are him. Okay. Yeah, we'll do this run, and then we'll load back into our regular save and, and convert it up to 1.0 and see what happens there. It's really... I did not expect them to say, hey, you should really start a new save. It's going to be too late for whatever time door is down here anyway. Yep. Because we're not sub two minutes. Be nice to have another save in case we ever want to do something special anyway. Oh, enemies didn't drop these before, that's pretty cool. Oh. Oh no. I was trying to go around that. Gotta remember too that I don't have anywhere near the upgrades I normally have. Lag too. No, 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 no. Huh. Let's heal up. Whoa, okay. Wasn't paying attention. Do these do anything now at one point up? There's gotta be something tied to this. Be. Oh, hey, look, it's one of these things that would be really cool if we had access to our normal stuff. Like, that conversation is... This is new. Statue of the King of the Island. Okay. I'm getting some really weird lag here. I don't normally lag when I play this game. I wonder if they change something up. Just an archer, since we don't have a lot of the tools we don't even have. There we go. Oh, hey! We get the vine artifact. Didn't we used to have to get that from a boss? Oh, the vines look different. They look cool now. I didn't hate them before, but they look cool now. It's got a really weird lag to it that I don't quite understand. Definitely was not there before. I just played this yesterday so that I could make sure that I has uh, I was still up on it for the 1.0 release to be able to make a video on it. I have a guardian's key to get in there. A lot of keys. I don't know where we get those keys either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh no, sir! Oof. And we are in bad shape health wise. No, sir. I'm not going to stay in fighting you guys. Thanks, though. Got no reason to stay. See ya. What? Wanna? See ya. Oh, no. The following is the way. There we go. This will take me to a boss fight that I'm not ready for yet. Oh no, this takes me to the other area, so here we'll get to we'll get to save. That's right. Alright, uh we should probably go for unlock a specific amount of items to start getting this stuff, but it's weird. Yeah. Man, those are expensive now. I thought they were cheaper before, I think. Let's start going for health. Two pumps of health is not a very good thing. Uh, that's gonna always be the same. But... The areas look like they've been touched up a little bit. I like the new looks. So far, the game doesn't feel like it's changed that much. I'm still really thrown off by the... Uh, really recommend starting a new save file for lore thing. Like, I want to know what lore I'm going to get now. Because so far, I haven't really got anything new other than just that one night woman who is dead most of the times that you see her. Uh, telling you that you can't die anymore. Oh, nice. That's right. Like, I'm kind of trying to rush to get to the boss to- I forgot to put my phone on silent, I am so sorry. Kind of trying to rush to get to the boss right now so I can see what the new stuff is, you know? Oh, that lag. I don't know what's going on with that. It's never really been a problem before. Is it the door? Is it when I break a door that it lags like that? Or is it because I'm not- like, I- even when I normally don't stop to kill the enemies, I don't have that lag. Oh, oh, oh no, I failed that jump three times. There we go. See ya. See ya. Oh, nope, 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 we lost. Oh, hey, it no longer insta-kills you. I actually have no idea how long that's been a thing, because, uh... I haven't fallen since when I first got to this area, and back in the day it insta-killed you. that hurt? Did I fall into his magic? Yep. Hey, it's Shopkey. No thanks. Hmm. One day I'll know what those doors are for. I am 
not messing with groups of enemies with my current loadout. It's not happening. We will bull rush the boss instead. Uh huh. I think that's a dead end. Hello. What? 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 I'm so confused now. Where am I supposed to be going? It was always just to the right. That's definitely the end of the ramparts down there. Just a shop. Where am I supposed to go then? Surely not off the side. I didn't know there was another path down here. I'm used to it was always just get to the end of the boss would be on the right. We can't even go there because we don't have the upgrade for there yet. Where are we supposed to go? Oh, I was about to say if it still fell off. I'm so disappointed. Yeah, it's just really weird because used to you just had to head right. As long as you got to the end of the row, you make it. The doctor of mushroomology? Secret zone? Oh, hey, throwing knife's sick. Leading sprints to every school. Okay, so we found a secret zone. That's cool. Alright, but that still doesn't. More and more confused. Oh, oh, well, hello. Oh, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, hey, blueprint. Nice. Support. Ooh. Eating spreads. Nice. I love it when I get a weapon that has a cool effect like that. Okay. It's never been down here, but all right. To the Black Bridge. 
Now what I need to know is if these changes affect our early access save file. I'm sure they do, right? Plus two. We don't have a blacksmith yet either, which would have been really nice to level up our, our basic sword. So we never found a better sword. Yes, we could have switched the sword for the whip and kept the kunai, but. Alright, is there actually going to be a cutscene for this guy now? Oh, yeah, his name changed to the concierge. I forgot about that. No, uh, no cutscene or anything, huh? We kept talking about lore as to why we needed to not use our save. But no. Maybe the reason they said that because they added every, all of that to this world but were afraid that you wouldn't check areas you've been in before because of it. Maybe. Uh, eventually he also gets a damage armor that's really annoying. We really are not kitted up well to fight him. Yeah, there's the damage aura. He also gets really obnoxious at half health. There's the damage aura. Unless they made him easier, he gets really annoying. Oh, roll into that one. He's doing so well, too. Can we heal? Probably shouldn't have healed then, but we can, yeah. There's the damage, Aura. There's the fire. Oh! Ask for that one. Yeah, we're not doing any damage to him, really. Even with the bleeding. I guess it should be a testament to how many times I've fought this guy that I'm just... used to his pattern almost completely. I'm still bad at video games. So I'm still taking a lot of hits, but like that. Oh, well, that one missed. Keep up the bleed. We almost have him to half. He definitely does less damage than he used to, though. Because I think the last run that I did on, like, recording where I fought him, he was doing way more damage than this. He also hasn't been jumping as much. Like, he's jumped twice now. That's it. The damage order again. Yeah, so what makes the damage aura so scary is you can't roll through him when he has it up. But as you can see, the dodge roll is basically essential to fighting him. I actually really don't like this boss, and I don't know if it's just because of how many times I've fought him, but he does his job, you know? He does his job. Alright, so now we're here for the first time, technically. We should have some new cutscenes here. No, no, no. Yeah, I suppose so. This, this is still very different. Alright, well, we're gonna load back our save where we're pretty deep in. And see... I 
how that does. I wonder what the difference is with streaming mode. We're going to have to come back on another video and try that. Because I'm curious. Alright. I saw that up there, by the way. Thank you. Oh, we don't have a weapon yet, Trey. Right? <laughs> to come back once we grab one. So all this is still here now in our playthrough. Which is cool. Shows all the upgrades that we've got. Shows all the weapons that we've got. I feel like at some point either like my progress got wiped or something, because I know I've done more than 40 runs in this game. Lost 358 cells, that sounds about right. Uh, Velmont's Whip and the Duplex Bow, nice. I really like Velmont's Whip. Oh, we got the, the basic shield. Shield. No, oh, thank you. I'm not big on shields in this game. Like, they're fine. They actually do a very good job, but... One day. Oh, they have a crossbow. Do it. <laughs> I love the heavy crossbow. This is why it felt so weird to me to have to start over. Because, like, I have all this stuff unlocked. I have all this cool gameplay stuff that I really like, and I didn't want to lose it, you know? And I get what they're saying of, like, hey... You ought to start a, a new playthrough for all the new story. Oh man, we are getting wrecked here. The shield guys are really annoying me. It doesn't help that I don't have a really good like front end weapon. But we do have Valmont's whip, so it's fine. It's a good weapon. It does its job. Especially if we can get the enemies in the sweet spot. Which I'm really bad at doing, it, but you know it's fine. Oh no! I want those. So yeah, this uh, Dead Cells is a really good game. It's officially out now. Super cheap. Uh, you should pick it up because it's great. Maybe not the best roguelike that's ever been made, but it's definitely my favorite roguelike, uh, probably that's ever been made. Because these views here's another secret. Yeah, so this stuff is in here. Cool. That's what I was hoping for. Oh, nice. Prison of Innocence. Is that what that's supposed to say? Vines do look better now. Oh, no. I thought he was in the sweet spot. He was not in the sweet spot, actually. Nice. Gotcha. 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 Ooh, turkey, nice. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that would be an elite. Into let's look and see if there's anything new here. There's not. Uh, the 
quick bow is now an option that we can find. So that's cool. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade the let's upgrade the crossbow, and let's upgrade Valmont's whip. Why not? Let's go with uh, Otis Lee Rooks. Yeah, it's gonna be the same every time, probably. And then we never got hurt, actually, so we don't need to heal. Let's see if we can't just blitz through this. What I normally do in a regular run of... Oh no, this is bad. I have to go back and let camp. In a regular run of Dead Cells, what I'm going for... Oh no. Is uh, blueprints or boss runs. That's my normal goal. Yep. Okay, so we have to go down there. Yeah, we're gonna have to do the jumps. Oh, I thought we could be far enough away from that that it wouldn't hit, but we weren't. Ah, oh, just out of it. There we go. There we go. Sir, the red. Vitality means we do that. Actually, that wouldn't have been brutality at all. That would have been tactics, but oh well. Ooh, see ya. I got no reason to stay. There we go. Both of these also scale off green, so it's not a bad idea to go ahead and pump them up a little. Oh, they did not kill him. Woo! See it. Wouldn't want to be it. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. Okay, that's a lot of stuff behind us. Let's go for uh, green this time. See ya. Aha! Phaser. Let's go phaser. I like phaser a lot. Oh, it's going to wind up being a curse chest. Oh, it's a regular chest. Ooh, the nutcracker. Let's do it. Do it! Oh, got poison. Come on now. Well, either to me, here we go. We either live long enough to become the villain or die, right? That's how it works. I think I messed that quote up really badly, but you know, it's fine. Oh no, the poison! No, oh, but we got him! Oh no! Ruby amulet. Oh, nice. Let's go ahead and heal twice. You know, just to be safe. He wants his room. I'll have your room, buddy. Honestly, would have preferred if we got a schematic from a blueprint from that guy, but it's fine. There we go. Uh, let's 
this. Upgrade it. And then upgrade it. I love that system, by the way. It's so cool that it's in there now, because it definitely wasn't before. <laughs> Sloop shot game design. Uh, let's go with... Dead inside. Use this back, please. To the ramparts! All right. Yep. This is a very new design for the ramparts, and I love it. This design of the, uh... Oh, oh the blood is exploding. The hallway? That was really cool. Alright, let's go. Top speed. No time to waste. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> Phase are so cool. It's literally nothing personal, kid. behind him and I did and I even had phaser I'm so dumb all right let's go out of the two green improves both of my regular weapons phaser's not really for damage it's more for utility so we'll focus on improving our damage here oh and hey we're gonna get some more we're gonna purple anyway uh oh man go with the one that gives us a little bit more health Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh no! That was an unfortunate health loss we did not have to take. Oh! There we go. And we are just taking more and more damage we don't have to take today. That's a huge shame. There we go. Let's go with whichever one gives us the most health. The more health we have, the more mistakes we can make. And how, with how bad I am at video games, the better that is. Okay. Okay. Live target training. Oh, that's not great. An ice bow. Not as good as my heavy crossbow, but would be something I would use normally. Can I trade that in? Yeah, there we go. Oh. 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 It's the edge the edge of the world again. I'm just going to take some getting used to. Not just running to the right. There we go. Okay. So where do we need to go then? Cool how now there's like little secret areas everywhere. Uh, uh, 
scroll of power back there. Missed. Right down here. Also a time door that we can't go through, but we can at least get the scroll. Let's go for green again. Increase our damage some more. And then we'll keep moving to the right. Oh, there's stuff down there. Nope! Again, damage we didn't need to take. You could be far less rash, sir. Come on now. I went to the far corner for that one. Can't get past the magic. I'm getting a lot of cells. I really need to get to. I say a lot. It's 15. 15 counts. Every little bit counts. Is it a curse chest? Nope. Really great. Nice. Can we use that? We can definitely use that. Nope. Can't get up there. It's one of those double jump areas that we keep finding that we can't use. One of these paths takes us to progression. Oh, hey! Lots of enemies here. How's it going? Oh no, this is not the right way. Is this one it? Maybe? Yep, progression. Back here. All right, we'll go up here and we'll take on this boss again, and then we'll call it. There we go. We'll reforge this one. Reforge it again. Reforge it again. Reforge it again. There we go. Uh, reforged again, reforged again. Now we're out of money. Okay. Well, so we get for getting reforged happy. Go. Fire our crossbow a lot more now. Here we go. Last fight time. We'll do it again. Concierge. Yeah, this is what it looks like to have actual decent gear and take it over. Oop, damage area. Damage aura. Shield. Damage aura. Oh man, that damage aura hurts. Damage aura. Who? Yeah, he is just getting chunks taken off with that combo. The closer he is, the more damage he takes from it. Damage aura. Oh, there's the jump. That's where he really starts to do damage, is that jump. Ooh, that can hit you twice, too. Oh, man, the jump. Ooh. As long as we're careful, we can do this. Damage aura. Jump! Ah, see how much damage the damage aura does? 
Because you can't just roll through it. Oh, we led into that jump there, Trey. Ugh. Yep, we led into that one too. Jump it. Roll. Heal. Oh, we took that one like a champ. Whew, we got him. Tranquility. A frantic sword. Nice. A legendary one, too. Alright, so we can continue, of course. Uh, but we're probably still going to call it here. Uh, because we've pretty much done all that we really wanted to do. I don't know if there's... Oh yeah, I forgot we can reforge modifiers on even legendaries. Uh, yeah, I forgot we can also do this. <sighs> Let's do it. That'd be a nice upgrade to have. We made it in time too to be able to get 24 more and all this money! So we could go 24 more into this. Just having more health is never a bad thing. We've got all the mutations we can get right now. I don't think there's... Yeah, because we don't have the double jump yet. So we can't go there to the Slumbering Sanctuary. But, uh, yeah. We'll be back next time with more Dead Souls. Dead Cells. I see what I just did there. That was a Viridian Slip. Uh, probably the best roguelike on the market right now, in my opinion. Uh, but until next time, I've been Trey, this has been the Full Spectrum. Remember to always enjoy the Full Spectrum. Dead Cells. Best off.